Hey, this is YBR back with Jalape. Shut up, alarm clock, I'm awake. Woo! I just opened the drawer. I forgot you could do that. I remembered you could turn off the light though. Alright, let's head out. And we don't have many upgrades left to get on this thing before it is the maximum car you could possibly get. So come on, Uncle. Let's go upgrade this jalopy to be the super jalopy that it always dreamed of being. Grab this kiss. Turn on this car. Uncle, get in. Hurry. All right, where are we going to go today? Well, we're going to go to the same place we always go, but what route are we going to take? That's an important thing. We're going to go... The one with the gas station because it seems like you're more likely to find interesting things when you go the route with the gas station. And I just cut myself off again because I always forget that it has a little bit of a pause right there that causes my voice to get cut off for some reason. Sometimes. Most of the time. But what I was saying, every time there's a gas station, it seems like we find more interesting things. That's all. Okay. So, and begins, and so begins our journey. Those A's have like the tiniest little top part on the A ever. It looks more like an upside down V than an A, doesn't it? See, now I'm criticizing the font because I've read this so many times. I'm like really looking close at it. And I'm noticing all these little things I never noticed before. Whoa. Okay, so the good news is, is the car doesn't feel like it's going to tip over like last time. I don't know what was going on last time where every time I would go left and right, the car would just pop up on the two wheels. That was the weirdest thing ever. Like, maybe once you get past Dresden, they made the roads really grippy in that country because their cars didn't grip well, and I don't know. It was it was baffling what was going on there. And I have no explanation for it. It's just the weirdest thing ever. I was a good roundabout right there. We kept a high speed. We slowed down just enough, though, so if there was a car in front of us, we wouldn't have rammed into them. That was perfect. I'm so proud of that one. Yes, yes, yes. I know what you're gonna say, so I don't have to read it, and I have not been paying attention if there are boxes on the side of the road. I was so distracted with gotta go fast, gotta go fast, that I just, it totally, I totally forgot about it. That is terrible. Terrible, terrible. If I missed one, I'm gonna cry. Box, 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 and you notice I took nothing from the home to sell. I want to do this as legit as we possibly can. But if there's no boxes the whole way, that kind of sucks. I didn't even take the repair kit. That was a little bit dumb. I probably should have took the repair kit. Oh, well. They don't get a repair kit, so that means don't make any mistakes to damage the car. Simple solution, right? Don't be an idiot, and you don't need a repair kit. Although the engine does start to degrade all on its own, so you'd need to do a little more than that. Is there any box there? I saw the little outing, but I did not see a box. Again, hopefully I didn't just miss it, but I didn't see nothing. One of the side effects of a fast car, I easily miss things. But I don't care because I get to where I'm going fast. And I use fuel fast, though. That's a definite downside. We are going to be upgrading the fuel tank so soon. It almost looks like we get a little bit of air time on some of those things. Like we're going so fast, it looks like we just about popped the car into the air. If there was an exterior camera, I'd be able to say for certain... But with the interior, it's like, oh, that looks like it went up. Or it might just be the suspension's, like, giving some when you go over the bumps. I don't know which. Oh, engine, why you got to smoke like this? Why you got to do me like this, engine? No. See, like, right there, it didn't look like we got in the air just a tiny bit. Like, before it was more because we were going faster, but now the engine's starting to fall apart, so it's less. I don't know. I don't know. I, I really am curious if we're getting in the air. Is that a box? Is that a box? Is that a box? No, just a, a hole in the guardrail. Oh, there's a stop up here. Let's go. All right, we'll slow way down because I have a bad habit of crashing on these things. Like all the time, it seems like I'll be crashing whenever I try to exit. So we got to make sure we exit at a very, very reasonable speed. So let's see. Um, Gas station is to the right. I wonder what's to the left. I don't know. Oh, maybe it just is a dead end? No, there's something over there. Cottbus Berlin. What happens if you head towards a location that's not the destination you planned? I wonder what would happen. We're going to try that. There might just be walls like that, but we'll see. Right now, gas station, turn, car, turn. So all we're going to do is fuel up and maybe we'll buy a little bit of uh, stuff just because... And... 
stop. Engine goes off. Wallet goes into hand. All right, we got $54. That's not too bad. That's enough to do a little bit of stuff. Stop oofing. You big old oof. I'm not even touching the car. All right. Fill her up. Okay. Then we go inside. And this time, I did not fill the fuel tank with extra oil beforehand. Last time, I had the engine running super rich. So when I refueled it the first two times, then it was like basically, okay, now the engine's running normal. This time, that is not the case. So I was going to buy some oil, but it doesn't seem like they have any here. And I don't think I had any in my car. Like, they have absolutely nothing here. I was hoping to get some oil and a repair kit, but nope. All we can do is buy some fuel for four bucks. And I genuinely forget what was in my trunk. Let me just take a quick peek in here. Okay, there was nothing. Just wanted to make sure. I didn't think I had anything, but I thought maybe I put something in there and future me was going to be really happy about past me. But that's never the case. It's always past me was an idiot and future me hates him. Always. Without fail. So I'm going to try going the other way and see if it's just a dead end or not, though. I'm expecting it to be just a dead end and then I'll be disappointed. But if you can go to another town that's totally off the route... And then maybe uncle will say something like, you idiot, this is not the town we were going to. That'd be great. So up here the sign says Dresden one way and then something Berlin was the other way. I forgot the name. So we want to go straight and see what happens. I'm, I'm just expecting it to be a dead end or it goes back to where I started because I don't know the actual name of where I started. So right there, what is that? That's a Berlin, but then, oh, oh, it's two different locations. Okay. So what happens if we, oh, that's not right. That is not right. We fall off the map. Oh, I'm so scared of this, but here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're screwed. Uncle, quick. Get out of the car. It's going to fall. <laughs> um, I mean, like, that's kind of what I expected to happen, so I don't know what to say. Like, I, I thought you'd probably fall off, but I thought maybe something different would happen, but no, you fall off. Yeah. But now I know. <laughs> you can't say I don't know now, because I know. So I guess we could uh, just return home and try this all again. We'll repair the car up, actually add some oil to the fuel, and then uh, we'll have a little bit better of a attempt going for us anyways. We might actually do this twice just to have everything set up properly. So we'll do this. Start off like this. How are the tires holding up anyways? Oh, actually, you have to put this on to be able to see their reliability and stuff, I think. Oh, it doesn't tell me. Oh, you might have to jack up the car it was. I forgot what that was. Yeah, either way, I don't care that much to worry about it, so. Yo, what happened to all my upgrades? I just realized, like, my upgrades are gone. I upgraded the ignition coil, the filter, and the carburetor, and those upgrades are gone. That sucks. That really sucks. Wow. I can't believe that. All right, return home again. I guess somehow the way I closed the game last time just closed in a way where it wouldn't save. As far as I can remember, I quit out of the game perfectly normally. It's not like I said, gaming session over, time to hit Alt F4. I just hit save and quit and then quit out of the game using the buttons as far as I remember. But apparently something went wrong, which is really, really frustrating to me. I don't even know if I have the... Um, mud guards on my car anymore. I don't think they're on it, but I barely remember what they look like when they're on it, so I might end up buying another pair and be like, you have these already. You don't need them. I don't know. So anyways, we're going to try driving once again. This time we will not take a detour that ruins everything. I will still take a longer route, though, because longer routes have more interesting things, as you just saw. Oh, well, I don't necessarily like the rain, so we'll do the shorter one. Never mind. Scratch that. You can't trust YBR. You can't trust them at all. 
Okay, away we go. And so begins our journey. We're upside down V and D begins our journey. Head towards... Dr oh my goodness, it's so dark we need headlights. There we go. Like, I don't usually leave this fast and efficiently, I guess. That one we just popped off faster than normal or something because it feels slightly darker than normal. And I will not slow down. You can't tell me what to do, old man. We're going full speed to Dresden. The police will catch us if we slow down. We didn't do anything illegal, but the police don't know that. They'll arrest you if you do anything. That tank is such a nice tank. We should admire that tank. Wow, what a tank. It actually has words on it. What does it say? Uh, that doesn't look like it's English, but I'm going to go take a quick check. Tank, what do you say? Be fret uns nanch mal. So if anybody speaks Jalapianese, uh, feel free to tell me what that means. And I say Jalapianese because I have no idea what language that is. Oh, that's kind of weird. Look. There's a part of the tank that's invisible from some angles. It's like, where'd it go? It's gone. The tank has camouflage. Very good. A plus camouflage. The best in the world. Just like this jalopy is the best car in the world. I gotta accelerate. I swear, we need something to get this thing off the line faster. It is so slow off the line. Just going, 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 going. The funny thing is, though, it keeps accelerating like the same amount no matter what. You're going 100, you want to go 120. It takes about the same amount of time as going 0 to 20. How does that work? This car just, it can't put the power down, but it got power. That's what it is. And I know it's not really exactly the same, but it feels close. Like, that's the thing. Normally, you would expect there to be a difference, but really? You're broken down a little bit already? We haven't even gone through, like, a, a liter of gas or something. Maybe like two and a half liters of gas and it's like the engine's starting to fall apart. And I repaired everything. Like as far as I saw, there was nothing that needed additional repairs and there's a box. Stop me! Box, box, box. Y'all better not hit me. I'm not even in the road. Just throw it on the roof for now because it's a little bit easier. I'm back into the car. Let's go. Whoops. There we go. I didn't start the car. Like, we wanted to go nowhere with that because the car was off. You dummy. You know, it's kind of nice how they have a little lane for you to merge. Because they know your car accelerates really slow. So, you know, if you stop to the side of the road, you're going to need a lane to be able to get back up to speed. Yes, 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 I know. I'm still so sad, though, about my upgrades. That hurts, dude. Like, I had... A beast. And now I just have an upgraded engine again. I don't know what happened. Like, I'm really sad about that. But nothing you can do about it now. You just gotta upgrade it again and continue on. I mean, it sucks having the best engine and then all these filters and stuff. Or all these accessories and stuff, I should say. That suck, so it just brings the engine down. No boxes there. Keep on going. I'm always afraid there'll be a box there. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, dang it. Oh. That's not good. I really bashed the car up right there because I was trying to look behind me. You know, one feature I would like in this game that uh, is a very reasonable feature is kind of like something where it uses the number pad to rotate the head real quickly like what you do is normally your head is pointed forward right and then you hit like six on the number pad and it tilts it 90 degrees exactly then you let go and then it pops it back to normal view or something like that or you could hit um maybe like eight on the number pad to pop it to normal or something like that something where you're using more than just a mouse to do the number uh, to do the camera controls so it gives you real snappy controls that'd be uh, pretty beneficial anyways let's go ahead and pop out of here we'll refuel it and repair it if we can. I don't know if we'll have any repair kits here, though. I'll have to check, and if there are, I'll come back to pay, but... Ah, uh, this gas station sucks! Your gas station sucks! 
I don't even know if I should bother refueling it at the moment. From here, I mean, I got a fuel tank in my trunk. I might as well just use that. I'll use my repair kit as well, so we'll grab all this stuff. Go ahead and... Well, that sounded crazy. I don't know what it did. Went... It went... It went... Like the noise. It was like it just made a bunch of noise. You know, why isn't it telling me how rich the engine's running anymore? Like it used to say, oh, your engine's running rich, or it's not. You need more oil or less oil. It doesn't tell me that anymore. Weird. All right, so we're going to work on repairing. Um, we'll do probably, I'm thinking here, engine for sure, because if that breaks, everything stops. And then, I guess, air filter to keep the other parts lasting longer. And then we'll do one on the carburetor. So the carburetor's still not perfect, but it's good enough. And I guess maybe some things were actually at 2 out of 3 durability and I didn't notice it. That might have been the case. I thought there was a wrench when it was at 2 out of 3, but it might have been a little bit too long since I played this game and I messed myself up. So that was a mistake on my part. Anyways, back out of here. Gonna be a m bit of a hassle to turn this thing around, but there we go and we are off once again. This time we will not do anything dumb. This car seems still to struggle even after all those repairs. It's not exactly uh doing much. I don't know. I swear it felt faster previously. That's the thing. Maybe I'm wrong, but I swear it was. Now one thing I didn't do back there was sell my stuff. Why? Because I want to sell it in the town. I figure if I only have one box, it's not really even worth my time to just stop and sell it. It's much better just to, uh... Well, look at the moon. It's, like, kind of disappearing. That was weird. Like, if you rewind it, you'll see there was a moon kind of... Oh, there it is. There it is. Wait. It's, it's, like a, it's like a boo ghost from Mario. You look at it, it disappears. You look at it at the corner of your eye, you can still see it. How weird. Anyways, as I was saying, we're putting the... Uh, whoa! I heard a car. I heard a car, I thought. Well, there's two boxes. There's the stuff, but see, we'll sell it all at once. And then I got by a crowbar again because last time I had to rebuy the crowbar. And then I thought I was good now, but no, apparently it's still busted up. And no crowbar. And hopefully there's lots of money in all this stuff I'm picking up. Go, go, go. You're so slow. Faster, faster. Alright, at least we're moving a little bit. And we should be pretty close to the location, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we've been driving for a while. There's not much more we can do before we've driven the distance that it said it was. It was a closer destination. Here it is. This is it. I could tell because Uncle said so. And actually, the real reason, I could tell by the roundabout. Like, it's... Like, there was no way there'd be a roundabout and then another roundabout in the town. It was like, next roundabout, that is the town. It has to be. So we're going to go ahead and finish up this video by sleeping at the motel and then selling up the... St well, actually, we'll sell up the stuff and then sleep at the motel because it is so close. Let's go ahead and park right here. Turn off the car. And let's go ahead and sell it all. Oh, wait, I put everything back here. I almost opened the trunk. No reason to do that. Head on over, and hopefully they have a crowbar. And apparently you could use the crowbar and then put it back on the shelf, I think. So I was like, can I demo this? Thanks, I don't need it, actually. All right, perfect. So we throw all this on the floor. And we'll start off by, we'll put this actually next to the other boxes. There you go. Open up this one. What's it got? All right, got some cartons of smokes, maybe, it looks like. And more of those. Wow. Oh, thank you. This is money. This is money. These are valuable. All right. $17 each, and we got a ton in here. Oh, this could not have gone better. I'm still disappointed I lost so much progress, but this is how you make it back fast. 
There's about 300 bucks right there in these boxes. And then I got one more to open up, and who knows what that one will have. Although, ironically, it seems like the boxes that need the crowbar give you worse things, in my experience. Like, you would think, if it needs a crowbar, it would give you better things, right? No, that's not the case. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, that's valuable, and it's more compact than the other boxes, but the other ones are way more valuable. Oh, I hope I didn't do something dumb. Okay, that was dumb. So my wallet's in the car. And, uh, yeah. That's great. That is awesome. Okay, well. You can pull that lever to cancel, I know. What a mess you made of my smokes! So now we gotta go back to the car, grab the wallet, and come back. I thought it was... If they owed you money, you could leave at will. I mean, that makes sense to me. You know, they only want to trap you if it's to their benefit. If it's not to their benefit, just run away. We don't care. Not the case. Hopefully nothing, like, flew away and I can't find it. That would suck. And I gotta sell things two at a time. It's one, two, one, two, one, two, because I have the wallet in my hand. It's gonna make it take even longer. I see both the wine bottles, or all the wine bottles at least. I see a lot of smokes, but I don't know the exact number I had. I could probably calculate it out by looking at the shape of the boxes, but I'm not that concerned about this. You know, I wouldn't have had this problem if I simply brought my car to the store, but I didn't. That's where I went wrong. I'm pretty sure these are my smokes. We'll see what happens. Okay, yes they were. And we should have 400 and something dollars by the time we sell everything. That means I didn't lose anything. There's even a, pe a piece right there. Oh, I think I lost one of them. Like, I think that's a pair of them. Oh, wait. Haha, -ha, I could grab it. Sneaky hands right there. I want to say there was one more that we had last time. Because it was like 430, I thought, but... I don't see it anywhere. I mean, that's still pretty good for 100 bucks. That's not bad at all. Is there anything else I would need to buy? I probably should just buy the curl bar. Or I could be the lazy person and just save it. So what I do is just next time I see a spot that has a box, I take the box and I wait for a store that has a curl bar to sell it like I just did there. It works, doesn't it? Technically. What is uncle doing? Uncle, what are you doing? Uncle, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Is this uh, the new dance craze? Because I like it. It's a cool dance, uncle. All right. Let's just finish up this video by taking a nap. And hopefully we don't lose progress. Like, I'm going to show you the way I exit the game. So I have it on video just in case. Because I, I want to make sure I keep my money. So we throw the wallet into the car. No, you won't be in the room. You're going to be over there dancing in the wall. But I'm going to show you the way I exit the game out so you can see exactly what I do. So it's proof that it's not like me messing things up. So we're going to go to sleep and that will save our location here. At least it should. So 24th of June. I heard the doors just open. Uncle's already in the car ready to go. So we're going to go save and quit, which will bring us to the main menu. And then we're just going to hit quit from here. So that's the plan. Anyways, that will do it for this video. It says at least $439 right here on the menu. So we're going to hit exit and that'll be the end. So until next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya.